Starlink just officially rolled out a pretty major modification to their most popular mobile plan. What they did is they upgraded the base roam plan from 50 gigs per month to 100 gigs while keeping the price unchanged. It is still just 50 bucks per month and now you get double the data. But the changes do go deeper than this and it could potentially signal a shift in direction for all future Starlink plans. So this plan just rolled out, it's brand new, and at least right now, it's available in the US market. And like mentioned, SpaceX revamped their base $50 per month plan to now include 100 gigs of priority high-speed data instead of the previous 50 gigs. And I would say this is a pretty significant upgrade. I always thought that 50 gigs per month was really not enough given the price because most people use significantly more data than that. And if you wanna check your own usage, you do so pretty easily on most devices by going to the settings and data usage. And for me, you can see on my main PC, I used almost 400 gigs of data in the past 30 days. Now that does mean that still for most people, 100 gigs of data per month is not enough to cover all of your data usage, but it does get a lot closer and it's certainly a much better value value than the previous 50 gigabytes. Now, like mentioned, this is not the only change to the plan. So previously, when you ran out of the 50 gigs of data, what you could do was buy additional data for $1 per gigabyte. Now that was very expensive, but that option is no longer available with this new plan. Instead, what they're gonna do is direct you to the unlimited plan, which is still unchanged at this point in time at $165 for unlimited high-speed data. But keep in mind that is optional, and now automatically when you run out of that 100 gigabytes of data, they're gonna switch you over to what Starlink is calling unlimited low-speed data, which at least to me sounds a lot like the $5 per month standby mode, which also gives you unlimited data at a cap speed of half a megabyte per second, which is something we have tested extensively on this channel, and I gotta say the performance of it really surprised me. And it does appear that this new plan is essentially going to be switching over to that standby mode once you run out of the 100 gigabytes of priority high-speed data. Now again, I do want to stress that it doesn't say specifically that this is standby mode. It's just that the term low-speed unlimited data is essentially the same thing as standby mode. Although it's worth mentioning that there is a possibility that this low-speed unlimited data could be a little bit faster and better than the $5 per month standby mode. So again, the standby mode has a hard limit right now at half a meg per second. And at least according to some of the documentation, this new low speed unlimited data has speeds of less than one megabyte per second. So at least in theory, this could be up to twice as fast as standby mode. And from my testing, I found that the standby mode was pretty effective at most everyday computing tasks, like loading web pages and even light video streaming at 480p. Now, with that said, I do plan on doing my own testing in the near future to see exactly how usable this unlimited low speed data is. And if you guys want to see that, definitely subscribe to the channel and let me know exactly what kind of test you want to see. But that's a first look at this new revamped $50 per month mobile plan for Starlink Mini. You're getting double the high-speed data, moving from 50 to 100 gigs per month. But potentially the bigger difference here is what comes after. Previously, you could have just bought additional data for $1 per gigabyte. But now we have this new unlimited low-speed data that automatically kicks in once you run out of the 100 gigabytes of high-speed data. And at least initially, it appears to be very similar in performance to the existing standard by mode potentially a little bit better but definitely let us know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one